when the person now becomes big and is on TV, you'll be saying, I know him now. He grew up in Ojo Elegba. He's my friend. He used to wear boxers then. Anyway, but now he's no more wearing you, you are still wearing. There is a way God blesses. But the church doesn't understand this. Everyone is crying out to God personally. God bless me. God bless me. God bless me. But this is how God blesses. When God blesses, he has ordained for the blessing to be self-sufficient. Are you with me? And so when he created a garden in Eden, he made sure that every tree had the capacity to produce after his kind. Isn't that true? Oh my God. Meaning on account of one blessing, there will be several others. That's how God functions. So sometimes God blesses some people directly and he blesses others by proximity to the people he has already blessed. He told Abraham, I will bless you and in you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. It's the same thing in Christ. One person had to do it and we all just believe and receive. Please understand what I'm saying. Because what I'm telling you is this. One of the surest ways to be blessed in this life is to learn what Abraham had. There was a divine skill Abraham had. Abraham knew how to look at people and know that this is not an ordinary human being. Are you getting what I'm saying? Abraham had that gift once, twice, three times with Melchizedek. He knew this is an extraordinary person. And by proximity to this person, a blessing can come on me. That is something this generation doesn't understand. We are used to pioneering, not knowing that there are many things that God will do in our lives by partnership. I am telling you there are some blessings that are for you, but through your friends. In our ego and arrogance, we want it direct. And it doesn't happen always that way. Can I surprise you? Not everybody will be Abraham. Any pastor who has not told you this, either doesn't know it or is hiding it from you. Listen, the Bible tells you clearly, it is not of he that wills, hey. nor of he that runs, but of God that shows mercy. Let me tell you this. I cannot guarantee anybody that if you preach like me and dress like me and talk like me, you will have celebration church. It just doesn't work that way. The permutation of heaven is too specific and tailor-made. Are you getting what I'm saying? So one of the smartest things you can do is to learn the wisdom of Lot before, before he, he, he messed up anyway. Learn the wisdom of Lot. When God calls Abraham, follow him. And I'm not talking about just ministry. Oh. There are some people around you. You can already tell. You know the funny thing is, we have more discernment than we give ourselves credit for. Your friends that are not ordinary, you know them. You know them. You may form guy, half a guy, but you know the hand of God is on his life. You might be trying to pretend and to commonize it. You know this guy is extraordinary. He's doing something incredible. See, and the problem with this generation is this. Something that is emerging in your very house, in, your, in front of your eyes, you'll be despising it. When the person now becomes big and is on TV, you'll be saying, I know him now. He grew up in Ojo Elegba. He's my friend. He used to wear boxers then. Yeah, you, well done. Anyway, but now, he's no more wearing you, you are still wearing. I'm telling you, oh my God, I don't want to give you stories. But you see, one of the wisest things you can do is to understand this principle. Behind every blessing, there is a ripple effect. Come on, are you with me? When you see a tree blossoming, that tree would have fruits. In that fruit are seeds. In those seeds is the capacity to reproduce other trees after his kind. When God blesses someone, oh my God, I am telling you that God's blessings have the capacity to replicate themselves. 